Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Stardox Logon Studio. Yes, we're doing another video on a piece of Stardox software after that the last video that I uploaded which was Bootskin XP. That video did pretty well. I uploaded that one day ago. Uh, today is Sunday when I'm making this video. I uploaded this one on Saturday. And you can see that we are already sitting at about 4,300 views. And a lot of you guys were basically saying the same thing, that you wanted to see more of this company's uh, software on this channel. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. I had a, a couple of you guys giving me some very good video suggestions, um, doing uh, the window blinds XP video, um, doing uh, somebody mentioned they were going to try to use this on XPC. I wonder how that would work. It would be uh, pretty neat to see that. Um, a lot of people also saying that they want to see a video on the BOS. So I have a lot of projects in the works, a lot of ideas written down for future videos. And uh, that's why that I always love hearing from you guys, you know, hearing feedback uh, in these uh, comments as it really helps me come up with uh, future video ideas for you guys um, on this channel. But today, as you can tell from the title and what we have on screen here, we're going to be taking a look at Stardox Logon Studio. Now, Logon Studio is another one of my favorite programs from them. I use this in conjunction with Boot skin XP on a couple of my older machines and what logon studio allows you to do is customize your login screen it's basically the same concept as boot skin but it's just with your login screen so the version of logon studio that we're gonna be taking a look at in this video is actually not the version that Stardock has available on their website. If you go to Stardock's website today and want to download Logon Studio, the only version you're going to be able to download is the one that works with Windows XP, Vista, and 7. And this is, they just call it Logon Studio now, and you see if I hit download, it just wants to download the file immediately. There's no choosing between the XP version and the Vista version like there was in the Bootskin video. So they only have this version hosted and this version was it used to be called logon studio vista but it just so happens that it's backwards compatible with xp and it also works on windows 7 but this version in my opinion at least doesn't really work well with windows xp yes it does allow you to change the logon screen but it's very limited in what you can actually do and it still leaves some of the windows xp like default elements in there and it's not that customizable it was just designed to work better with the vista and 7 login screen i'll be saving this program you know this newer version here for a future video if you guys want to see that and be sure to let me know down in the comments if you do so i'm gonna have this link down below as well and this is a archived copy of stardock's logon studio download page from 2010 and you can see that this page has two separate download links and it does sound a little bit confusing you have this first version up here that just says logon studio download and it says that it is compatible with windows 7 windows vista or windows xp then you have logon studio for xp download which is only for windows xp so this is the one that we're going to be taking a look at in this video because in my opinion it just works much better on windows xp and it allows you a lot more uh, customizability, which I'll be showing you as well once we get into it. So let's go ahead and actually run the program here. Actually, it's right here in our start menu. And this is it right here. And you can definitely tell that it does just have a little bit of an older interface. Uh, this is version 1.0.64 and it comes included with three default welcome screens these are all made by the same person boxy over at or i think that i'm pronouncing that right over at boxy.co.uk don't know if that website is still around but this is the person who made these three default login screens you can download more logons from wincustomize.com this is the same website uh, that we downloaded all of the boot skins from so you can use this site to download uh, login screens as well that other people have made so let's go ahead and just apply one of these login screens let's go ahead and try out uh, this one right here so when you hit apply what it will do is it will uh, basically switch you out I mean it doesn't log you out it's just basically like hitting on switch user so your account is still active um, but it just takes you back to the logon screen so that you can check it out and, and, and see if you want to keep it. So in this one, you can see that there's a whole new background. The Windows XP logo is gone and it's changed with this like circular thing. This says Microsoft Windows XP. Um, to begin, click your username is right here. Um, this is the uh, shutdown button. You've got the same text over here. Um, I don't know what it is with this like black box here. I don't really remember that. Uh, happening in the version that I use. Maybe this is even an older version than what I used. 
Um, and then you have like your user account switcher right here, which works as you would expect it to. We can try out Welcome 2 here. We'll go ahead and do that. So there you go. Um, and Welcome 1, well, here is how that looks. But, you know, besides from this black box over here, they do look pretty neat. But what's really cool is that not only can you try out other people's login screens, but you can also make some yourself. There is a dedicated tool built into this program that allows you to create your own login screens. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that works. If you click on new right here, it'll come up with this create new logon window. And all we have to do is type in the name. We'll call it MJD logon. We'll put my name as the author. I don't think you have to put all this stuff in here. Let's just hit create. And it's going to come up with this warning saying a new director with the logon name has been created with the default logon into it. So we'll click OK. And here we are. We are now in the Logon Studio Editor. Now check this out. This is what I really like about this program. And this is what you're unable to do in the XP Vista and 7 version of Logon Studio when you run it on XP. You're not able to have this many customization options available to you. You see that we have control of all the panels, the messages, the buttons, and the pictures. We can change just there there's so much in here i mean look at all these options each one of these things is an individual element in this login screen that we can change and it's very very cool because people can get very creative with this so each one of these individual items here has a ton of different customization options within it you can change the colors and it works just like a gradient essentially so for this top panel here right you've got your mask color first color and last color so let's go ahead and change the first color to and this is going to change this top panel up here let's go ahead and make it black so there you go so now you see we have a black to blue gradient which actually looks pretty cool and now we'll change this last color let's go ahead and make that let's just make it like a little bit of a lighter blue let's go with this one here so there you go that looks that looks pretty cool you can add a picture if you want to but it has to be a bitmap file a .bmp file if it's not it will literally crash the entire program because I, I tried to put in a, a JPEG that I have and uh, the program did not like that so we're gonna go ahead and just not use any sort of uh, photos or anything like that I don't have any bitmaps on hand right now but you can definitely do it and, and people have we can change the center panel let's say that we want to change that to just like a solid black so we'll go ahead and just do that here and yeah i don't know why that we still have this one section up here like i mean yeah i don't i don't understand if that's just there I don't know what what is going on there to be honest, but you see that this one section doesn't want to doesn't want to change. But let's let's just ignore it for now and then see if it actually will I don't know fix itself uh, later on. Let's go ahead and I, I'm actually thinking we should make this like a gray. Yeah, so that looks pretty nice. And for the bottom, we'll go ahead and do just the same as the top. So we'll do uh, a solid black to this lighter blue up here so it kind of just mirrors the uh it mirrors the top we can also change the dividers as well and these you can only change it with a uh, bitmap image so we'll just leave it the same for now now what's also cool is you can change every single piece of text on this login screen you can customize it so let's say for the shutdown right here you see where it says turn off computer let's say that i want to change that to say shut down if I can type today, shut down system. There you go. So now we've totally changed that entire piece of text. We also have the notice down here, which is this piece of text at the bottom, which is after you log on, you can add or change accounts, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and just get rid of this entire thing here and just say, thanks for watching this MJD video. So there you go. You can also change the four color, which would be the actual text color if you want it to be black. There you go, but it definitely looks better um, we can actually make it like a grayish color and uh, let's just go back to white because that, that that shows up better on the on the blue there uh, login notice is this piece over here so let's just change this we can actually just get rid of this entirely if we want to if we don't even want it there we can just uh, get rid of it for the username we can't actually change the text but we can change the color that the, that the user's name shows up in uh, user status same thing then we can also change the buttons so the shutdown the go button the uh, go selected which is one that you mouse over go um, help help selected and undock these are all buttons that we can change and add bitmaps to so we, again we need to have a bitmap file we can actually just edit this bitmap file if we want to okay so i've added the word hi so we'll save that 
and close out of that and uh, uh, yeah there we go so now it's saved that we hit okay and there's <laughs> there is um, our new shutdown logo so that's that's interesting you, you can see that there's just we can have a lot of fun with this there's a lot of things that uh, that uh, you can do you can change the user icon you can change the scroll bar and if you don't want to scroll through this whole list right here what you can actually do is just click on whatever element that you want to edit so let's say that you want to edit this box here you can just click on that and what's really cool about this here is you can actually change the position of where this box shows up so let's say that you want it at the top left of the screen you can just click that here click OK and now it's gonna move the entire you know where you select your user over to the left side of the screen which is which is pretty cool so you can see that as I click around in this logon screen we uh, will will change to a specific element so you guys can see that we can get very carried away with this there's just a lot of stuff that we can do but I think this looks pretty good right don't you think let's go ahead and just apply this so you just go up here to log on save and apply and there you go here is our new log on screen yeah i don't know what what the deal is with this like blue square up here that's part of the old xp log on screen our bitmap didn't show up for some reason but uh the entire like user switcher has been moved over here so we'll go ahead and just uh go back i don't know what the deal is with this here i really have no idea because i I've, I've never seen that happened before so yeah that is how you can create your own log on screens which is definitely very nice what you can also do is at any time if you want to go back to the regular xp login screen all you do is hit this button down here and it will restore uh the original xp login screen so now if i go to switch user there it is so you always have a way to go back if you feel like you've messed something up or if you don't like what uh you've done you know to your login screen you can very easily just go and change it back now let's actually go on here and, and try to download a uh, logon screen that somebody else has made now i don't know how easy it's going to be to find one on here because most of these are for logon studio vista as you can probably see by you know the way that these logons are uh, designed you actually have two separate file extensions that stardock has made one of them is dot logon vista which will only work with the vista edition of logon studio the one that works on xp vista and seven and then you have a dot logon xp which will work with both the xp version as well as the vista version so this right here is the oldest logon screen on this website at least by just you know sorting by date and going to the very last page and this is still a dot log on Vista file. So yeah, there, there's not going to be any log on XP files on this website because this program is so old. And while the Vista version of Logon Studio isn't supported, this one is like extra not supported because it's not even hosted on their website anymore. Um, I don't know what that this means when it comes up. Logon Studio is no more registered as Logon Screen Editor. Do you want to register it? Like, I don't even know what this, <laughs> I don't know what this means. But this is it. I mean, this is Logon Studio XP. And I definitely will be taking a look at Logon Studio Vista in a future video. If you guys want to see that, be sure to let me know. And I will definitely get to work on that. But for now, guys, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's little video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Again, just a quick look at Logon Studio XP, this super old version. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload new videos on this channel which I do every single week and if you guys have any comments questions or suggestions for future videos be sure to leave those down in the comment section below as I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say and as always I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video